Assuming Splatoon 3 doesn't get an extra year of updates, Splatoon 3 is going to end off with one more season left as I write the script, and not gonna lie, it's been disappointing. Even if you've been in the Splatoon community for even a bit, it doesn't take a lot to know that this game has a few misses on their mark compared to previous games. And I actually do think Splatoon 3 is better than Splatoon 2, and I think it goes bang for bang with Splatoon 1, but with a lot of misses on their belt, this game just felt like it went from a 99 overall potential to like an 86 overall potential. It's kind of like Lonzo Ball if you really think about it. So. The question remains, what's done in Splatoon 3's potential? Number 1, the seasonal release. Splatoon 3 decided to release the updates in a seasonal format, kinda like how Fortnite does it with their seasons. But the thing is that Fortnite is really the only one properly executed. Fortnite not only has most of the time a good battle pass, but they do multiple updates within the same season to keep interest going. And also, Fortnite's actually a good game. In order for Splatoon 3 to actually pull this off, they need to go all out for its seasons, which in the first two seasons, it did, as we had new catalogs, new stages, new specials, kits, and everything. There was only one update between the new seasons, whereas for Splatoon 2, where there was around three minor updates before the major one, but the entire model at first was fine. Once people started to get tired of the season, boom, new season dropped, and rinse and repeat. Sounds good, right? Well, this is where they started to botch it. Nintendo eventually just got lazy. 35% of the catalog stuff got reused, new specials started to be every now and then and not every season. Hell, in the new season, they added one battle stage instead of two. When they started to get lazy, the patience for the updates got less and less to where eventually some people just stopped caring about the updates. And the part where they got lazy, I feel it has to do with number two. Number two, side order. Side Order was teased sometime in 2022, and it didn't come out until February of 2024. And assuming Nintendo doesn't do a surprise extra year of content, Nintendo spent 85% of Splatoon 3's lifespan just developing Side Order. So that means one of the likely reasons why the season started getting lazier and lazier is because the Splatoon team was cut in half so Side Order can be developed. Now, Splatoon 2 did have that for a while, where for the first half of its lifespan, the updates didn't have the best efforts in them. But after Octo Expansion came out, Nintendo started doing heavy hitters with the game for the second half of its lifespan after Octo Expansion. People thought this was going to be the case. Even with a 2024 date leaked, fans really thought that this would happen with Splatoon 3. But that's not what happens. With only one more Splatoon update left since the release of Side Order, there isn't going to be enough time to go all out anymore. So now pretty much the entire development of Splatoon 3's updates were half-baked. Side Order came out and it's fine. Like it's a good game mode and an interesting idea for Splatoon, but in my opinion, no way should this have taken 85% of the game's lifespan to come out. And plus, it felt like Side Order's hype died down a little fast after it came out. Like it came out, people were happy, then a couple days later, died down, and in my opinion, it has to do with the fact that Side Order has been teased for almost a year and a half. To put this in comparison, Octo Expansion was teased in March of 2018, then released in June of 2018. That is three months between the teaser and the game actually coming out. Side Order, however, was teased in August of 2022, then released in February of 2024. That is no joke, a year and a half between getting teased and actually releasing. That is insane! So when Side Order actually came out, it felt less like an exciting event to see what Nintendo has done with Splatoon, and more or less just an obligation to play it just for waiting it that long. But anyway, that's just my opinion though. Do you think Splatoon 3's potential got stunned because of this, or do you have a different reason? If so, leave it in the comments down below, and as always, thank you all so much for watching, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye bye!